want to tell you about my character? So I believe he was a, a, a very stern father, a blue, blue collar worker, kind of went by the book, and was probably upset by the fact that his son had an autistic tendency. Uh, you know, this is the kind of kid who might go off to a field someplace rather than doing everything the way the father wanted him to do it. And that developed a lot of tension between the both of them. What really attracted me was uh, the uh, tremendous number of emotions that the character had to display. Everything from anger to frustration to sensitivity to uh, uh, basically crying over a lot of different situations that you'd never expect a guy like him who was rough and tough and gruff on the outside to be uh, so affected by these uh, emotional uh, occurrences. Uh, I think that the most challenging wasn't one scene, but it was the, the night that his wife died, that whole day, because it starts off uh, with him getting the news that his wife had a stroke, because the last he saw of her, she was uh, washing dishes at the sink and he kissed her goodbye and it was just another day. So the challenge was the first word that he got that she had a stroke, and it went from there to him uh, being uh, in the hospital and discussing with the persons that were attending to the wife that she died. He never had a chance to say goodbye. He never had a chance to, to discuss with her what happened. So it wasn't a pleasant uh, goodbye for the morning. And then he went from that uh, basically uh, to going home to an empty house for the first time in, in a hell of a long time. And he was so sentimentally struck that he had a, a touch her clothes and feel her clothes and basically uh, uh, smell the fabric of the clothes to get fragrances or, or lingering uh, memories of her. My other favorite scenes were uh, uh, watching the uh, homeless woman because she was truly a character. There's no question about that. Uh, and uh, I, I think that it was uh, incredible to think of uh, half of what she did, the way she cleaned the house, uh, the way she made the dishes uh, proper. And uh, because of that, I really f thought I was going nuts myself. I started believing them. I think the truth of the matter is that um, I had a big vacuum in my life and she was filling that vacuum. So it's a question of how was I looking at her and how was I thinking about her? And at the same time, uh, she was getting a shelter and a, p a place to go. Uh, and that was a change in her life for what apparently she had been through uh, before. But uh, uh, to me, it was amazing that some of the things she was doing, like cleaning the house, getting the dishes in order, uh, etc., had me thinking that I really was going nuts. Uh, that's, uh, that's what the effect of those actions had on me. Uh, what I think uh, the moral of Saturnalia is that despite all the conflicts, uh, there is a possibility that uh, persons can uh, redeem themselves and uh, get to the point where they can get reconciled. It may be something as sad as the death of the mother that set all the uh, facts in motion, but uh, in the long run, uh, it showed that uh, both the father and the son uh, truly had hearts. Mm -hmm.